Yo, what's up guys? I just want to say first off, if you're new here, drop a like, drop a subscription, drop a comment, tell me what you think at the end of the video, shit this one all the way through, and remember, watch the whole video. Don't be a bum. Now, I hope everyone watching is having an amazing day or night, and uh, I've been gone just due to uh, personal reasons, we'll leave it at that for right now. Uh, there's a whole story coming behind that, but... I'm back, and I'm coming in strong with part 3 of the Mama's House series, where a lot of funny, scary, and dumb events all went down at. Now, if y'all haven't watched the last two, I'll link them down in the description. But basically, this is my friend's grandma. That uh, We just go to her house and we smoke, and probably like 50% of the time we smoke with his grandma too. Which is probably like the coolest mind-blowing thing to me ever, because my mom was like super strict about weed, so I... I just always assume, oh, my grandparents would be the same way, and all grandparents are the same way. But nah, bro, like, my homie's cool, and his grandma's cool, and we're just going to be learning about learning about how this friendship built, and just all the stupid things that went on in that house. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about the first time I got to smoke with Cody. Just one-on-one, -on -one because before this, if you haven't watched part one, I'd only been to a party of his. And if you want to check that out, check the description for the video. Anyways, on to the story. This starts right after I had gone downtown to do my uh, my PO test and my, my probation checkup. And while I'm in this little group checkup with my PO, Cody hits me up and asks if I want to smoke at his grandma's. Now, of course, I couldn't pass up this opportunity to chill with Cody and actually get to know him with a bonus blunt. Like, who's going to say no to a bonus blunt with chilling with a, a potential homie? Come on now, nobody's going to do that. Now, it's around 2 or 3 p.m. when I get back to the crib, the house, and I get some more comfortable clothes on and head over to Cody's. I think he picked me up. I don't know, though, so we'll just go with that. And when I get there, he has this maniacal grin and says, Yo, what's up, bro? Guess what I got? And I just responded with, I don't know. Like, <laughs> no say away, you know? So, you feel me? We get inside and see this freshly opened five-pack of Honey Backwood or I see this freshly open five pack of honey backwards. Excuse me, I had a little brain fart. But remember, this is pretty much close to like a year after graduating. And in high school, smoking a wood or like a fronto was a big deal meant for special occasions. Like that wasn't something you just spent all your money on for no reason. You know what I mean? Because how are high schoolers supposed to pay for all that weed? But the point I'm making is, I didn't really smoke but maybe three woods in total before this event happened and they weren't rolled by someone who knows or knew how to roll woods so when he says this to me when he's like yo guess what and i see these things i'm just like yo i'm so excited and oh my gosh bro i, I get so excited when i see this pack of backwoods like no cap I, this is probably the best wood i've had to this day like i, I have a video of it in my snapchat memories and it's just so beautifully rolled. Like, shout out to Cody, bro. Everyone, go in the comments and put uh, Cody, the the wood god. Uh, that's kind of gay, but you know what? We'll make fun of him at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, we get to the kitchen, and it's all set up. Rillo packs open everywhere. And a big grinder full of weed, and even more ungrinded weed. And it's all, like, set up on... Uh, if you haven't watched part one and two, I'm going to just be explaining this in every video, I guess. But... Uh, the way it's set up is there's, like, the TV, the couch, and then right behind it, there's a space. And they have one of those, like, uh, what do they call Like, island kitchens or whatever, where it's, like, just one big piece of, like, concrete or slab of marble in the middle, and you can walk all the way around it. That's what they had, and it was just all set up all over this island. Now, this is when I knew I was in for a treat. And he looks at the weed, and then to me, and then he goes, yo... Let's roll the wood in some blunts, dude. And I could have swore at that moment I, like, I shit it or something. Just out of pure excitement. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm just kidding. But I just can't even hold back the smile on my face. I'm like, hell yeah, bro. Let's get zooted. Like, what? I thought I was coming over here for just one wood. But he's talking about a wood and some blunts. And keep in mind, this is when I did not smoke at all. So, like, bro. A backwood and a blunt is just, it's, it's like almost too much for me. 
But anyways, back to the story. My bad. I don't mean to keep sidetracking. I just, like, every time I'm, like, telling the story, I just got to keep, like, adding stuff to it, you know? Because I keep remembering more. But he starts on rolling this backwood and kind of teaching me how to roll. When I say kind of, it's like, he'll be like, hey, bro, uh, so you tuck it in at the beginning like this. And then he'll roll it, like, halfway through and be like, oh, oh, so this is how you roll the end. I'm like... Well, that's great if I want to roll, like, the beginning and end of a backwood and just have it unrolled in the middle. Anyways. <laughs> but, nah, like, that's how he would teach me. Uh, Like, he'd be halfway done rolling it. And he'd just look at me and be like, you got it now? Like, no, what the fuck? He told me how to unroll it and then just rolled it up. But I wasn't even that mad about it. Cody was providing the weed and hospitality. So, really, how could you get mad at that? Like, you know what? Do what you got to do. And I also remember Cody had his phone connected to the TV, which I didn't know had some banging speakers on it, but speakers were freaking amazing on this thing. And the way his grandma's house was set up, kitchen, living room, how I said, was pretty much a one space. So the speakers were nice because it was just all one room, so it kind of echoed and everything. And I also very distinctly remembering that Cody was hitting the wood at one point and ghosted his hit. Which is, you don't know, uh, it's just a simple trick, or if you don't know, my bad. It's a simple smoke trick that you basically just re-inhale the hit that you took, but looks pretty cool if you take a fat rip. And um, when he did this, I was telling him, like, oh, I didn't know how to ghost or nothing, or anything like that. Like, I, all I knew how to do was smoke. And he explained it, and for the rest of the smoke sesh, like, every single hit I would take, I would try to ghost, and it looks so bad, dude. Uh, I have some old snaps of it, and Jesus Christ, I would basically just blow the smoke out, or half of it, and then not even inhale all of the smoke, it was so freaking bad, like, um, I don't even know how to give a visual for that, the best way I could say is, like, just imagine somebody, like, taking a hit from a vape, and, like, they try to, like, blow an O or something, but they just blow out all the smoke, they didn't even inhale it or anything, and... Jesus, it was so bad. So me and Cody smoked this wood down, and he rolls up a blunt, and we turn on some anime music videos. Now, if you don't know what those are, I'm putting you on right now, because it's so lit. It's like the best fights from every single anime, and then they just put some, like, you know, whatever type of music you like over it. And I knew this because we watched one with uh, One Punch Man with, like, Josiah or something on, and uh, it was the fight with, like, One Punch Man and the, uh, the robot dude. But yeah, after this blunt was done, we were thirsty, and his grandma has this strict diet she's on, so everything in the kitchen is pretty much, like, super-duper healthy, uh, water, take it or leave it, there's, like, not even freaking milk, so we take this blunt and walk to the Dollar General, right beside his neighborhood, but it took us, like, 30, 40 minutes to walk there, and his neighborhood is actually, like, decently big for a neighborhood, and we get these drinks, and, well, actually, hold on, hold on. Let me describe the walk, because the walk was treacherous. The, the way that we had to do it was we had to walk along this farm-to-market road, which basically means it's six lanes on each side. So we we had this, like, at first, it was this little, like, uh, side walking space that people could, like, park on if they broke down or something. And then as you went further, the, like, the little, like, line that separates you and the road just kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And then I'd say, like, half a mile before the store, like, you're basically just walking on the side, like, on the grass the whole time. But, you know, we get there, we get these drinks and finish smoking the blunt on the way back to the crib. I think we watched some Cheech and Chong type movie with this infamous hacked Amazon Fire Stick. I call it that because every time this dude got suggested a movie, Kobe would say, like, oh, I had that movie on my Fire Stick, bro, and it's hacked so we can do anything. And it was the funniest shit ever. And then sadly, he lost it later on. But I remember every time he pulled it out and he, like, had the menu up, dude, it looked like it looked like there were just ads everywhere, the amount of, like, apps that he had. He had, like, IMDb, Netflix. Dude, he had, like, all the unknown streaming services, too. It was fucking crazy. But after this movie, I went home and went to sleep high as fuck and had a great-ass dream. And that's pretty much the end of the story, guys. Uh, yeah, if you like the Tales of Mama's House series, or I don't know what I'm going to call it. Yo, if you're watching right now, 
drop a comment down below what you want this series to be named. But I hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I do. I'll be pumping out more video guys for you shortly. I know uh, I like to say like, oh, I'm going to upload tomorrow, but I really don't know if I'm going to upload tomorrow. So I'm not going to promise that, but just be on the lookout. Keep your notifications on. Hit that subscribe. Hit the bell. And I'm going to start trying to upload like every single day or every other day. Anyways, guys, it's been your boy, Sunny Delight. Peace.